I've been back exploring a little bit more. I wanted to show you one really cool thing with this new connection between the Logic and GarageBand iOS. And it's pretty awesome, but it's a little bit strange. They did something here that doesn't always make sense. And yet it's still kind of awesome that we can do this. So we have a song here. We're going to just send this out to GarageBand for iOS. Call this test. I looked at this the other day, but we're going to just do one thing that's a little bit different, showing one feature. Okay, once we do that, we can come into our GarageBand. Let's fire it up. You'll see test shows up. We'll download it. Let's open it. And what we're going to do is use the effects feature here with our repeater, our filter, our uh, bit crusher, anything we want. And let's record this. I'm just going to hit one of each of these real quick and you'll see why. push stop, you'll see we have automation there. Let's get out of the song so it saves it. Now inside Logic, we're going to quit Logic for a moment. We get the same thing about do we want to do the iOS changes. And now look, we have the effects track here. So let's push play on this. So now we have the effects here inside Logic. If we go to the track that this shows up on, we actually have a plugin. It's called Remix Effects. It actually has a little bit of a graphic glitch here. It just provides compatibility. We can't actually use it. There's no uh, settings there or anything. We could move the region around, um, but if we open up the region, just on the surface there's nothing. And if we go into automation, you'll see we don't have the ability to do any automation here for that particular plugin. But we can, if we go back in here to the piano roll and we open up with this button right here, the MIDI draw, you'll see, even though there's no options to look at that, we can't actually get there. And if we go to other, it's not going to show up in other because the numbers they're using are up in the 200s and 300s and 400s. But we can use this little button right here to go between all of the different parameters for the Remix Effects plugin. So we can actually edit the data, we can change the data, and we don't even necessarily have to now go to GarageBand to get this. We can import this and move it around to other channels. I'm trying to figure this out. I've tried to just move this over from like one mixer channel to another, which we can do. But then programming that data is a little bit trickier. And so it's not exactly working. It may just be that it works on the master fader still trying to figure that out and I think we'll get there. I think we'll definitely be able to figure that out. But if you go to just your choices here, there's no choice for that remix plugin. You have to the very first time get it from GarageBand and then bring it in. And it does some really cool things, especially with some of the time function and the other remix options. It's pretty awesome. Okay, that's it. I just want to show you this little cool thing. Hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you later.